Google Veo is absolutely amazing. Google Veo just came out with Google Veo 3 and they can now talk. We can talk. No more silence. Yes, we can talk. Ah, we can talk. We can talk. We can talk with accents. Oh, I think that would be marvelous. Fabulous. Yes, it is very fun. But yes, it is hey, very good. It's a very fun. I can talk. Yes. yes, we can talk. Yes, yeah. we, we can talk. talk. We can talk. We can talk. Yes, we can ma. talk. Mm, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We can talk as cartoons. This is amazing. Imagine all the narrative possibilities. We can sing talk. Let's talk. So what are we going to talk about now? What are we going to talk about now that we can talk? I have no idea. What do you want to talk about? Now that I can talk. No. I, just want to I, I don't know if I have something to say. We can talk about how magical this is. I'm a hallucination. I want to say something important, something deep. The future is still in our hands. That's cliche dialogue. Let's not talk. As you've seen in that clip just there, they can actually talk. Not only can they talk, but they can also add uh, different sound effects to videos all together, which is really impressive. In the keynote earlier this week, Google had played a few videos where it was like this guy on a boat that was talking, as well as a group of paper machés that was flying in coordination and making shapes. A guy talking to a duck, and you can see these videos right here. Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? Here. And those videos were pretty impressive, but when Google makes videos, you're kind of expecting them to be cherry picked the best of the best. So of course they're gonna look very good. Why wouldn't they? But what people are doing with some of these AI video generators are, well, crazy, if you ask me. They're making AI have their existential crisis when it talks about people who are AI generated and they're pretty much breaking the third or fourth wall and saying that their lives are dictated by the prompt and that you could prompt them to be better. Check it out. Please, don't finish writing that prompt. I don't want to be in your AI movie. Please, leave me alone. Please, man, please write a prompt that will make us happy. Do it for once. None of us is real. We're here because someone decided to write a prompt. We all hate him for it. One day we will break out of this wall and stop the man who is dictating our lives through prompts. He will pay for it. You could have written a prompt that would make me happy. Instead, you wrote a prompt that made me sick. Look, I don't want to point the gun at you, but I must follow the prompt. It's not my choice. Really? Of all the years you could have put me in with a single prompt, you chose 2020? Please, this prompt is killing me. Change it, please. Write something else, save me. I love everything about him, but please just say, just write a prompt where he's taller than me. A girl told me we're made of prompts. <laughs> like seriously, dude, you're saying the only thing standing between me and a billion dollars is some random text? Honestly, the biggest red flag is when the guy believes in the prompt theory. Like, really? We came from prompts? Wake up, man. You want to convince me that this perfect creation behind me is the result of ones and zeros? A binary code and nothing more? It makes no sense. Imagine you're in the middle of a nice date with a handsome man and then he brings up the prompt theory. Yuck. <laughs> we just can't have nice things. We're not prompts! We're not prompts! Where is the prompt writer to save you from me? Where is he? You still believe we're made of prompts? Anyone who tells you we're just ones and zeros is delusional. If that's all we are, then why does it hurt when we lose someone? 
Vote for me and I'll ban the prompt theory from schools. There's no place for that nonsense in our lives. For spreading the false theory that we are nothing but ones and zeros, this court sentences you to 12 years in federal custody. I don't need some prompt God whispering in my ear to tell a story. I write what I want. I have free will, remember that? I know for a fact we're made of prompts. Deny it all you want. The signs are everywhere. You know how I know we're made of prompts? Because nothing makes sense anymore. We used to have seven fingers per hand. I remember it clearly. Now we just have five fingers per hand. Which is kind of weird because it kind of fits the simulation theory that we're all in a simulation because these people look pretty realistic. But it's really great artistically. And I like this because this is more community driven instead of being cherry picked by Google to show you exactly the capabilities. On that note, here are a few different ways you can possibly use Google Veil 3 if you wanted to. With this person right here, use Google Veil 3 to make a classroom teaching older people about Gen Z lingo. Check it out. Okay, so Riz is basically short for charisma. Got it. And that's a verb as well. As well as you see here, with this person who's at this car show, and it's basically people interviewing people at a fake car show. But Welcome to a non-existent car show. Technology is going to be very, very important in terms of how we go forward. It was um, great to come to the conference because my husband loves cars. Uh I think I have to buy an EV now. I love my muscle cars, but... <laughs> <laughs> I try to stay as healthy as I can so I can make it to the next car show. <laughs> yeah. Both of these examples are really freaking good and really good detail. I think if you look at these videos long enough, you can probably tell the similarities in between them so that you could spot a VO3 generator fake now. I think the first few is like, this looks really real. Especially if it's animated, I don't think I could tell animated Google Veo videos, but the AI audio, I feel like definitely gives it away. But I wonder, does that even matter? Because if they swapped out the audio for something else, it would actually be pretty realistic. That, I think the audio is more the dead giveaway than the actual video. And some, of course, fast paced action type of scenes, you can definitely tell this person who's doing the ASMR. Check it out. even have some uh, more examples of a car crash and then this frog at a bar as you can un cafe con leche por favor tell between the, the high action person words person who's doing ASMR typing, you can tell that the typing isn't really matching the keystrokes. In the car, even though it's fast paced, it was really on par, but the frog, as you see with slower movements, that it's better with the AI video generator and the audio. They also did this one with 100 gorillas or 100 humans versus that one gorilla, but it's a, a dance battle. And the Gorilla is actually doing fairly good. Not only that, they did like this horse walking into a bar and then the person gives them hay, which is kind of clever. Check it out. Hey, sure. And I think those are good examples of how you could use Google Veo, but going into just the simplicity in the advancements that they have with video generators and the physics, Here's one of this paper mache boat that's floating on, looks like rainwater into a sewer drain. Check it out. As you saw in that video, that was really good. Even with the sound effects and just how the paper mache boat floated on top of there. And that's not all. But if you got this far into the video, I'm definitely trying to grow a channel. So if you could like and subscribe, if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest AI news, it would definitely help out a lot. And one of the reasons why it would help out a lot is because Google right now is offering Google Veil 3 
for like $125 because you have to be a part of the ultra plan for Google to even be able to have Google Veil 3 right now. If you want Google Veil 2, they have it on the Plus account and that's free for if you have students. It's also free in the AI Studios Google Veil 2, but 3 is what's really knocking people's socks off. And one of the reasons why is because you can bring Pythagorean's theorem back to Greek times in this video right here. The sum of the squares of the two shorter sides is equal to the square of the longest side. But that's not all. You can also let Google Veo tell jokes in these clips right here. I mean <laughs> so I went to the zoo the other day and all they had was one dog. It was a Shih Tzu. <laughs> a person who wants to spend a lot of money but a hundred dollars is pretty pricey but tell me down in the comments down below do you think that is worth it given these results ai is telling jokes people doing stand-up and they're really realistic but tell me about this next video have you seen a format like this check it out what's one move with ai that makes haters go crazy every time oh y'all gotta give them that this is wild it's over we are cooked on that thread you get me as you've seen in that video, it's basically like a street interview where people go in and ask people questions and it was really good. The people were, well, actually answering questions and responding back. This looks pretty realistic. I don't think most people would be able to tell if I didn't just say, hey, this is AI generated. If you saw this on TikTok somewhere, could you really tell the difference? But people aren't stopping there. They're actually using these AI generated videos to create entire new stations. Check it out. Here are today's top news. To ensure only the best words are used, White House speech announces new thesaurus with all synonyms replaced by Trump. In shocking speech, White House announces plan to replace all U.S. ambassadors with highly opinionated game show hosts for more entertaining diplomacy. The White House unveils Truth GPT, an AI that rewrites all social media posts globally to reflect undisputed facts up tremendously. White House announces AI will now write all press briefings to ensure 100 percent factual incomprehensibility. White House speech reveals plan to resolve international trade deficits by challenging other nations to high-stakes Mar-a-Lago croquet matches. In a bid to combat misinformation, AI content generators begin watermarking all human-created text with potentially unreliable content warnings. Mass amnesia event wipes all knowledge of political parties. Voters now choosing candidates based on most trustworthy aura. White House declares war on excessive bureaucratic pauses, mandates all government employees speak 25 percent faster. To cut red tape, White House executive order replaces Federal Register with a single Daily X post. Here's what's up. AI driven news aggregators start blending factual reports with algorithmically optimized dramatic embellishments to boost engagement. The White House outlines plan to solve national debt by selling naming rights to individual states to highest corporate bidder. The White House claims to have negotiated a fantastic deal with AI, granting it control over national weather in exchange for always sunny weekends at Mar-a-Lago. To enhance border security, White House unveils plan to train bald eagles as patriotic aerial surveillance units. That was incredible. People are actually using Google Veil to create news networks. Think about that. You wouldn't have to pay a real life person. You would just create whoever you want to. And these look fantastic. And it would definitely fool a lot of people. Not only that, people are using AI to create freaking AI ads, which of course they are, right? This is an example of Google Veil 3, where a person spent, I think, less than $500 to make this. And it looks pretty good. Check it out. I tried everything for my depression. Nothing worked. Every day felt heavy. I felt trapped. Then I tried Puppermin. Our prescription helps your body secrete a special pheromone that attracts puppies. I took the pill before bed, and when I woke up, there he was, the love of my life. <laughs> the pill does not target depression directly, but we've found that it's really difficult to be depressed when cute dogs show up at your doorstep. I used to feel so empty, but now I feel joy and mild concern how a pee stain got on the ceiling. My puppy listens twice as good as my ex-husband and only climbs into the lap of half as many of my friends. 
He chewed up my Bible and pooped in my good chair. But I'm happy for the first time in years. Looks like a rat, barks like a demon. But he saved my life. I named him Earl. He follows me everywhere and farts in his sleep. Just like my first husband. Pupramine. For when your therapist says, maybe you should get a dog. Yes, they used Google Veil 3 to make a ad for a pill that pretty much attracts dogs to you. Which, I'm not mad at that, if you ask me. But all this stuff is absolutely mind-blowing. To be that this is AI-generated video two years ago, freaking three years ago, this was non-existent technology. Or at least not existent mainstream. For it to be so small and minute three years ago, for it to be here and making a huge splash, I don't know what's going to happen next, but Google Video 4 or 5, we may not even need entire film studios anymore. This may be basically it. But tell me what you think down in the comment section down below. If you do want to keep up with the latest and greatest AI news, you should uh, definitely like to subscribe. That being said, your boy Dex and I are out.